The artificial intelligence powering Google's new Pixel 3 is some of the most powerful in the world. But this AI has an almost scary trick up its sleeve. One that Google's not even talking about and we definitely didn't see coming. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. So Google's been doing some pretty crazy things with AI. Not too long ago, they showcased being able to actually take phone calls and make phone calls, book appointments, all of that with the Google Assistant. Oh, how can I help you? Hi, I'm calling to book a woman's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. So I give me one second. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Google's camera uses their new AI to be the undisputed camera champion without the hardware or the amount of lenses that a lot of these other cell phones have these days. It's pretty crazy that their software and AI can make up for the difference in the actual hardware of this camera versus other cell phone cameras on the market right now. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we took a look at GoPro's new Hero 7 with its gimbal-like stabilization, and it is the real deal. They're using software and optical image stabilization to remove the need for a gimbal. And in that video, we even mentioned that if that stabilization could come to a smartphone, that would be game changer. If you wanna check out that video, definitely do that. And little did we know then, that this Pixel 3 might actually have that. GoPro's entire selling point behind the new GoPro Hero 7 was their hyper smooth, their gimbal-like stabilization, and Google hasn't even mentioned it in the Pixel 3. There are a lot of brilliant new superpowers coming in Pixel 3's camera, but we didn't have time to get through them all. But some reviewers have taken notice. Stabilization is absolutely impeccable. This, this is actually a handheld shot, but it looks like it's on a tripod, which is ridiculous. And we've taken some footage of our own on this Pixel, and I was shocked. It looks insane and might actually rival the stabilization of GoPro's new Hyper Smooth Hero 7. Can Google's AI create features that they don't even mention that other companies are creating whole products and launch events for? Let's find that out today. Does the AI on Google's new Pixel 3 have the ability to kill the gimbal in a smartphone? Let's get out there, go on a little bit of an adventure and find out. How fun. Hello? Hi, uh, well, I'm about to leave, except for I'm trying to film a video. I'm in the middle of filming, in the middle of filming a video right now. But like, we're almost done. We're like just filming the B-roll shots. So we're about to leave, and we'll pick you up, and we'll head out together on the way. Five, we'll be there in five, or we'll leave in five, and they'll see. Yep. Okay. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, bye. Good morning, everybody. This is the first time I'm at Lake Louise at freaking six in the morning. Actually, we left at like six in the morning. It's actually eight in the morning. It just feels like six in the morning because it got us so freaking early. But it's gorgeous, dude. Never have I ever been here so early when there's zero cars in the, three cars in the parking lot. <laughs> Yeet. It is a little bit quite freaking freezing in it. it, 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 it. <sighs> mm, mm, mm. All right, so we're in the beautiful Lake Louise right now. The sun is just rising. We got out here to test out the Pixel 3 stabilization versus the GoPro Hero 7's Hyper Smooth. We have Levi with us today. This is my little bro, and uh, he's gonna be our, our, our model to uh, kind of film. So I'm gonna be chasing you down and uh, trying to see how stable these guys are. So, uh, got a little bit of construction going on in the background, which is always <laughs> nice. So let's get started and do a few quick tests and see which camera is more stable. Okay, so I'm gonna start these both out at 4K 30 FPS with the stabilizer on. With the GoPro filming at the same speed there. Camera is too cold for stabilization. Whoa. The GoPro is giving me an alert, look at that. Video stabilization temporarily disabled. Camera is too cold for stabilization. Well, that puts a little bit of a hiccup in things. Huh. Does anybody have a space heater? <laughs> what? Is that, that's a thing? I guess you gotta warm the GoPro before it starts working. The, the pixel's working fine. And the winner is the Pixel! Yeah, and the winner <laughs> Pixel 3 with an actual working stabilizer. It's gotta blow on it. I mean, it's not that cold. Like, what is it? Like, it's like, it's like a minus 50 oh, yeah. degrees. It's 50, just a jaunty 50? day out. Yeah. Like, it's warm, the sun's out. <laughs> sun's out, gun's I out, feel you know like my saying? fingers are about to fall off any second now. This is supposed to be an action camera. It's designed for these. That's actually, like, imagine you're, like, snowboarding and doing, like, an action sport in the cold. 
The stabilizer stopped? David Jones is having problems with it too with the new 7. Really? Yeah, he said it would cut out every once in a while. It was too cold and think they would just crash. Interesting. And he's like, I oh. didn't have this problem with any other GoPros, but the 7 seems to have problems with the cold. So I guess our only option is we can hop into the hotel for a minute and try and warm up the GoPro. Um, there's the beautiful... Ah, don't just love nature. All right, let's go in the hotel for a quick minute. Let's go get a room. When everything is white, glimmering silver white, and stillness fills the night, it's Christmas. A winter wonderland. Snowball in each hand Take me away Christmas Day There's joy in the air Families near We give thanks for this past year Oh, nothing compares To the love that we share So we did a few tests in 4K on here, but I have a suspicion that on the Pixel uh, 1080p is gonna be a lot more stable because of it cropping in in 4K. So I'm gonna switch it to 1080p and see if that makes a difference. All right, ready? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna try and get stable and yeet it, go. NDP. I'm gonna switch back to 4K. And every song on that we're stereo can make a party start and really glow. Just come along, come along. Yeah. We are here for fun. We want to all the joy in our country. No. I think our work here is done. I agree. All right, sweet. Test complete. Right. High five, buddy. Yeah, just get a little. Uh, no, okay, well, just a little. Okay, there you go. Yeah. We are here for We're going to have like first and far back. Oh, we're trying to get so close to you. My <laughs> parking lot's almost as full as my DM. Jesus. Pretty freaking empty. <laughs> All right. All right, we're ready to go. Right, let's go. See our Good. ticket, boys. Okay, we are now at Lake Louise. We were already at Lake Louise, but now we're at Lake Louise, the ski resort, because we figure what better way to test out stabilization than a little bit of action sports. Now I'm gonna be filming Levi doing some sick shredding, and we're gonna see, can you use a Pixel 3 and get the same stable gimbal-like footage without a gimbal, with just this, which is actually a pretty shaky rig. It's not really that great for stabilization. We tried to kind of center it as good as we can. So yeah, we'll see if that works. It'll be very interesting. Let's uh, give it a shot. All right, filming on Pixel and doo -doo. Filming on GoPro, both ready to rock. You ready? Today's the day that all our friends will 
right, so I realized that this rig is actually the shakiest thing of all time and completely hard to control. So I think I'm gonna swap to actually just holding the phone in my hand with the GoPro attached to it. I think it's gonna be ideal because this rig is just hard to hold and annoying as hell. Um, also, it is icy conditions, dude. It's not, uh, icy. not ideal, but still a good test for the stabilization. Hey, Louise is breaking my heart. The bad heart. <laughs> all right, so run number two, run number dos. Uh, the conditions are pretty rough, and I'm now filming with my hands. I'm just holding the, the camera now, so hopefully that works a little better. But look at that view, guys. View. I'm also curious to just like compare footage. Like, what would you rather use, your cell phone for this kind of stuff, or a GoPro? What looks nicer? What do you guys think? What's this, what is this looking like? It looks beautiful. Oh my, ah oh, yes, ah oh, yes. Bless me. It is a sad day it's for Lake It's a sad Lake day Lewis. to be a snowboarder. It's it is a sad, sad day, day to be a skier, too. But I don't feel as bad for skiers, but still. Because they're skiers. Because they're skiers. Yeah. You know, you know. I'm talking to you. Yeah. Right, that guy, right, that, that guy, right there. That one. Yeah, There, bud. <laughs> Keep your eyes on the lookout. Oh hell yeah, we got a freaking blondie shredder. Twelve o'clock. Oh oh oh. Let's get it. <laughs> so we got some shots, and we're back in the gondola now. Um, I am curious to see what that looks like, but I obviously don't know because we've been filming the shot. So we'll have to check back on the footage in the end and see how it all works. But we revised the rig a little bit. Um, I was filming with just the phone for a while, but I thought it'd be fun to try and get some pole shots because there's gonna be a lot more shake on the pole. So if I extend this all the way, like this kind of the idea, hopefully that works out. Um, the reason the GoPro is plugged in right now is because the GoPro batteries and the GoPro in general just does not work well in the cold. Like the stabilizer keeps saying it turns off because of the cold and then the GoPro itself just keeps dying because like the batteries, it gets too cold and it just freezes. So uh, overall, not impressed with the GoPro's cold performance, um, but other than that, if you keep it plugged in and you keep it, you know, keep it warmed up, then it seems to be working pretty good. So yeah, that is our revised rig. Hopefully that works out and gives us some, uh, some more unique, different footage. Alright, there you go. The Pixel 3 stabilization. That's that was actually, amazing. That's that was impressive. Last time we made a video about the stabilization, the GoPro Hero 7. Check yeah. that out. Link in the description. Yeah. We were amazed. Today, we are amazed again. I can't believe the Pixel has this. Like it's it's a feature they didn't even advertise. How do you even do that? How do you have a feature so good yeah. like GoPro, the whole point of their new flagship Flight. camera was hyper smooth, how yeah. stable. That's what the whole point of the yeah. of the camera. Google Pixels has amazing stabilization. They don't even mention it. So the real question is then, is it better though? Is a feature that they didn't even mention better, better than the whole selling point of the Hero 7? Yes. It is. But only in some situations. In some situations. The thing is, Hyper Smooth is a beast of a future. It's, insane. it's the real deal. If you're really shaking with the Pixel, it'll max out the Pixel stabilization and it's just not as good as the GoPro. I haven't goes. seen the stabilization of the GoPro yeah. be maxed yeah, out exactly. that often. In theory, it must be possible. 
but yeah, I, I haven't seen I it. I wonder. Yeah. Next episode, yeah. take a boom. Exactly. We did see that with the Pixel, though. So in some of yeah. this footage, especially when like I'm, I'm running with the phone, you do see like yes. some micro jitters a little bit where... But when yeah. you hold the camera very steadily, you get this amazing... First of all, you get super stable footage. And yeah. because of the, the lenses the Pixel uses, it gives a very natural looking yeah. look. It's very compared cinematic. To the GoPro. Like, exactly. It looks very like cinematic, movie. very yeah. natural looking. With the GoPro at the end of the day, you have the wide angle. Yeah, you it can always looks like it. a GoPro. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So if you're doing that sort of like GoPro type action sports, then it's it is acceptable. But if you want to get a really cool shot, you really can't with a GoPro. It's always like it has that GoPro look. The moral of the story. Yeah, is, it's taking over. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. The moral of the story is that the, the pixel is better in some situations, but in general, the stabilization, I would say, is not as good. So the way I would put it is, the GoPro stabilization is better than the Pixels. But the Pixel stabilization is so good, yeah. sometimes there will be no difference, so you might actually prefer going for the Pixel. Exactly, because of that cinematic look and a lot of features, and the convenience of having the phone in your pocket is so exactly. nice, like it's so useful. You so, have it in your phone, in your pocket anyway, all the time. Do you need an action camera in 2018 still? I think yes. It depends in on what situations. you're doing. Yeah, exactly. If you're doing some more extreme sports, especially where you're putting the camera somewhere where it's in danger. Actually, if you want to mount your camera anywhere, you might prefer going for the GoPro. However, exactly. if you head mount. yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you're gonna have your phone safely in your hands, also it works better in the cold. Video stabilization temporarily disabled. Camera is too cold for stabilization, which is a crazy thing we didn't see coming. You think the GoPro would be the best for all kinds of Being action, action intense, camera. intense scenarios, but we had to have it plugged in all the time because it kept dying because of the cold. It literally said the stabilizer was turned off because of the cold. And we, we had didn't have up. that with the Pixel. I also want to mention that after we filmed this video, actually, uh, my friends wanted me to go out and shoot them, uh, you know, snowboarding on the new terrain park that just came out nearby. And I actually went for the Pixel to go film them yeah. instead of the GoPro, where I would usually always go for the GoPro because it's what I use for that kind of yeah. that kind of video. I was like, no, the Pixel's gonna be easier. It's not gonna freeze in the cold. Exactly. I'm gonna get that cool high dynamic range and that cool cinematic look. It just felt like the right choice and it worked amazing. You can literally use your phone for something that we were wowed about just moments ago, like literally exactly. week, weeks ago. A couple of weeks ago, yeah. we were amazed yeah. by this new development in the camera world and here the Pixel have it in its camera. I think this is a testament. Google is killing it with AI. Yes. And the fact that that AI just happened to make amazing stabilization also, it seems like. That's what that makes the Pixel great, the yeah. AI. The, the reason the camera is great, the AI. Why is Google Assistant so much better than Siri? Because Google has better AI than Apple. Yeah. Though it pains me to say because I use Apple phones. <laughs> but Siri is so dumb. Siri is so dumb. <laughs> it really makes you wonder what are we going to get in a phone next? Like the AI for this phone has made everything so good and now you almost don't need like an action camera. What's going to be next? What kind of what crazy stuff? What other product we're yeah. going to put into the phone? What other crazy things can we do to these phones is a big question. <laughs> Well, let me tell you. Tune in next time for our season finale. Last of video of 2018. Season finale of season one. Yep. That'll be crazy. Last video of 2018. The season finale it's of these awesome tech episodes. If you've been enjoying the ride for a while, definitely tune in for the last episode of this season. Last episode of 2018. It'll be a doozy. Oh, yes. Yeah. I have no idea what we're going to do, but it's going to be big. So it's you be better awesome. subscribe, hit the bell to be notified the moment it goes up. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys Woo. enjoyed this season one and are hyped for more. Yeah, season two coming in February. By the way, don't think you're going to get rid of us for too long. Exactly. We'll be back before yeah. you know it. Yeah. So yeah, hopefully you're hyped for that next episode. Leave a like on this one, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. And we'll see you all in the season finale.